Hey guys, today I want to share with you my oil art supply haul from Flick Art Materials. Okay, I basically my budget was a little, basically a hundred dollars, and if it went a little bit over, it was not a huge problem. When I say a little bit over, like ten bucks. Okay, so I am, um, as you saw from my last supply haul, I did mainly like my acrylic paints and all my acrylic supplies, but um, now I'm getting back into my oil paints and as you can see my paints are kind of like empty and I need new ones Excuse my hands. I was just working <laughs> oil paint everywhere. I mean acrylic paint everywhere So anyways, I decided hey, I need some oil paint and because I had a gift card another gift card I wanted to experiment with newer more fancier brands so let's check it out so with my purchase because it was over a certain amount i got a free brush so let's start off with this brush this is a what is it called Raphael paris classics three five seven two brush this is a filbert size eight brush it's the and it's um obviously it's an oil brush so it's a little bit stiffer but it's pretty soft so let's hope that it is a good brush it's for something that i can that won't you know be worthless <laughs> let's hope that it won't be worthless and like i thought i used it four times and it came separately in this box i just opened it excuse my messy studio <laughs> all right and then secondly i got this liquid original um oil what is this yeah it's oil medium I really like this because it really does speed up the drying process. Painting. And then I got some more brushes because you can never have too many brushes. And these, I got two different types. I didn't open it yet. But this is the Gorilla Painter Medium Handle Bristle Brush. A set of four and they're flats. And I like getting um, sets. So, yep. Like I said, these are the um, bristles flat and then I got the same brand because these are like $13 each and these are filberts I really enjoy filberts again these came in multiple sizes two four six and eight so cute so, so I got nine brushes brushes and then onto the oil paints that I got so I bought a set of Williamsburg oil, handmade oil colors, but I also got some three bigger colors. Um, I said bigger colors, three bigger um, sizes of paint that are 40 milliliters. And the brand is Selenier. I'm sorry, I cannot pronounce this, but I tried the um, paints before. And the first one that I bought was a burnt sienna. And I really like it. Um, so I decided I want to try these out again, especially since I had a gift card. So I got this shade. This is Titanium Buff. I got a green because I don't own that many greens. And I want to start painting like trees and more like nature scenes. So I got this um, shade. It's called Green Earth. And then... The other the third shade that I got from this brand is called Red Ochre. Um, I'm really interested in seeing like what this color, how this color comes out because it was very interesting. I never tried a shade like this before. So this is the back if you are interested in the pigment light fastness and all that good stuff. And the same thing for this. And on to this. This is the biggest item that I purchased. And like I said, I wanted to get more oil colors, but I didn't want to buy them individually because that can make it more expensive. And so I just got this set. And this is the Williamsburg Handmade Oil Colors. This it was a traditional color set. And this is the packaging. So it comes with the candium um, lemon, candium yellow, medium, candium 
red medium, alizarin crimson, ultramarine blue, cerulean blue, raw sienna, French raw umber, and a larger 37 milliliter titanium white. So let's see what those are. So I just slided this off. I'm not going to take these out of the box because I'm recording this one handed and just, just want this to be a quick like. Let me show you what I got. And it came in the, um, you know, the brown box and it comes, like I said, with the 37 milliliter titanium white, which is always needed, always need a bigger white. And then these smaller tubes. I hope that um, with oil paints, a little goes a long way. So I hope that these last a little bit longer than usual. But yeah, I'm excited because I never use a French raw umber. I never even use this brand because it is on the more expensive side. Because because in art school, mainly use the Winsor Newton oil color because you're learning. And, you know, you get a good amount of product for an expensive price. And then I moved on to, this is not a private order, but these are just like my own, what I already had. And I started to use these Artist Loft um, because I was going through white so fast. I was like, I did not have money to keep replacing the white. So I tried this and this isn't too bad. Um, it's not the best by any means, but it's not too bad. But yeah, see, this is what I already had. And I'm excited to move on to bigger, better things. And I hope that um, it's a little bit more expensive than these for a reason. <laughs> So, yeah, thank you guys. <clears throat> thank you guys for watching this video. Oh, yeah, let me go back to this and tell you guys what was what. So, the traditional oil set that came with nine colors, that was $45.35. The liquid oil medium, this right here, was $6.17. Um, my paintbrush sets, which are over here, these were... $13.33 for the flat and the filberts. And what else? And my Selenier, Selenier <laughs> brand paints. These were $8.22 each. So these are not cheap. So, yep. And my total came up to like $102.00. And then with taxes, like 106. So that is my $100 oil paint haul. And I hope you guys found this video interesting. And see you guys for my next video. Ciao.